Welcome back and hello if you are new. So thanks for tuning in for another week. Now, death is something that we all go through. Uh, it's a universal quality that we all have to deal with and really is a conduit into real emotion. Set to return with a brand new album this year, Cave In were in the process of recording their album when sadly bassist and longtime member Caleb Schofield um, passed away. Resolving to carry on for what could well be their last outing as a band, Cave In decided to give us all the gift of final transmission. Final Transmission, the title track, is a beautiful song and essentially is a very simple one-man mission of just Caleb and a guitar. And in a way, it feels oddly familiar. It feels that, you know, you, you've kind of already heard this song, even though you've not. Um, and particularly given the fact that it's a recorded voice memo, it just feels that much more personal, I feel. All Illusion and Led to the Wolves are very much Caleb songs and you, you can hear it, you can hear in the way that it's composed, you can hear in the way that it's put together. And Shake My Blood, for example, was actually the first time that vocalist Steve Brodsky was able to sing following the passing of Caleb's, following Caleb's passing. And it really does kind of show that raw emotion. And the overall production of the album lends to this quite airy sound quality. Snare drums often anchor the meandering lead guitar tones and Stephen Brodsky's vocals are sometimes quite quiet in the background, uh, but it, it allows for this kind of sense of openness and it is a very much live sounding record. There are times when the guitar is turned right up and then there's times when you know the distortion is, is as quiet as possible. And at first the production did kind of throw me and I wasn't too keen on it, but the more you listen to it and the more you understand its story, it kind of really works. Throughout the album, despite its very, you know, quite dark um, surroundings, there are a lot of moments of really quite nice light, you know? It's almost like a light in the darkness. And it's, it's, a, it's a fitting metaphor. Shake My Blood, for example, rekindles that kind of space rock sound that they had in their sort of Jupiter era of their career. But then later on you're whisked off into the interlude that is Lunar Day and it's, it's got this really kind of whooshy style to it and reminded me of a bit, you know, it's, it's post-rock but also a little bit shoegaze at the same time. However, as much as the album might be quite spacey and out there, there are moments where cave -in really kind of like get back to the nitty gritty of riffs. For example, Lanterna is definitely a big one. They've got these massive, you know, mastodon sized, huge thumping riffs. There's also Winter's Window, which reminded me of that sort of Almost like a Queens of the Stone Age style sound. Final track led to the wolves is very, very aggressive. Um, and I thought it was going to be a bit more of a tranquil kind of like floating off style ending. So that was kind of quite a nice surprise to be fair. If anything, you can tell just how much Caleb brought to Cave-In Sound. And Final Transmission is a fantastic example of 
really honouring his memory, I guess. It also tells a beautiful story, and the bass guitar is definitely the focal point of the album. You can see all of the fantastic songwriting and intricacies that Caleb brought to the table. And Final Transmission really is a beautiful, beautiful send-off. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to check out all my other interviews, album reviews, all that good stuff. And leave a comment and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.